When you see something that has such great value as the Health Museum, it inspires you to do even more. The Health Museum is such a fantastic, innovative, fun way for kids to be exposed to health and the human body. We're so proud to be able to support that. Creating an environment where enthusiasm and excitement can be ignited is really a responsibility we have. When you think about the Health Museum and now celebrating our 50th year, it plays a really important role. Having the museum as a cornerstone for young minds to learn about their bodies, to learn about medicine, um, is one of the most exciting aspects of our museum district in Houston and in Texas. Dr. McGovern had the vision of what this could be. He agreed to be our first and largest donor uh, for the project, and that helped get us kicked off and running. He was kind and um, people-oriented, loved children. In fact, when we would go over to the zoo and walk around, he would say, well, I'm going to sit up here at the front and watch the families. Well, I did my walk all the way around the zoo and he would be there thoroughly enjoying the families. And, um, and that was just how he was. The McGoverns continue under Catherine's leadership to be one of the most uh, generous people in our community and they touch in core areas that are important to them and largely around education, largely around health. And so when you think about the future of educating our, our, our children and adults alike, that it's limitless. And so I see that the Health Museum is continually changing and evolving as we learn more about the human body and it always starts with education. So the Health Museum, congratulations on 50 amazing years, but the 50 years to come are probably even more exciting. In 1956, I went to the Chicago National Science Museum. And in that museum, I saw a uh, appropriately authorized body that had been uh, sliced right down the middle. I looked at that for about an hour and said, how fascinating. It was that museum and that exhibit that was the initial catalyst that got me moving to say, there's got to be a better way for me as an individual to contribute to society. And when I saw that body, I said, this is it.